Hello again and welcome from the Philippine Islands. Uh, it's the 27th, 27th of March and uh, we're just going to take a little walk and explore a little of this park that we're in. It's a, it's a wonderful park. No, you can always go. It's okay. And I'm with uh, three very, very special people. And uh, look at this. What, what's the name of the park? Uh, what is it? Punta Bell Nature You heard it. And uh, look at this. Very nice. It's a series of swimming pools. Seven feet, four feet, kiddie pool. They got pools everywhere. It's a, just a beautiful park, not far from along a post city. And uh, so I'll just take you on this little, this little uh, tour. Here it is over here. Just a lot of activities for the whole family. And uh, good to get out of the heat. And the water was beautiful. And uh, everybody was excited. So we're just gonna take a little walk around Explore, look at the big chair, holy cow. You guys wanna sit on the big chair? And yeah. Sit on the big chair and say hello to everybody around the world. <laughs> <laughs> holy cow, okay. Uh, say, tell us who you are on the right. Hi, my name is Audi. Audi? Yeah. And uh, no. Janine. Janine <laughs> and John John. Hello. Welcome, welcome. Look at that Hello big from chair. The Philippines. <laughs> All right, let's move along. Look at the nice bamboo over here. I was at a bamboo sanctuary in uh, Baguio City, and it's good to see bamboo in its natural habitat without the fear of being trafficked. You know, how'd you like to wind up in somebody's bathroom as a wooden bamboo floor? So this bamboo is, I guess, uh, subject to that, if not. So we'll just keep coming along, exploring. Wow, it's this is a big piece of property. Wow. Oh, here's the frame. Yeah, you hold this. I'll get in the frame. Yeah. Welcome! I'm in the fray! Oh no, you gotta keep your hands like this. If you go out like this, then you can't do that. Thank you very much. <laughs> give me that, give me that freaking thing. All right. <laughs> and look at the sun, nice day, huh? Always a beautiful day in the Philippines. Look at the trees. And these are real coconut trees. Uh, they are real coconuts. And if we get close, we'll show you. Look at all the horticulture out here. It's like, uh, it's like a, it's like a, uh, it's like a botanical garden, isn't it? What is this? How to use? Put your phone's camera in front of heart. Focus on your subject. And take a picture. Okay. Oh, this thing over here. Wow. All right. I see how it is. Wow. Isn't that something? They've, they've installed a, an automatic uh, heart. There's the coconut. Can you see the coconut? That is a real coconut. You know, coconuts are, are real things. They're not just in storybooks or children's books or cartoons. Coconuts are real. Bell of happiness. Wonderful. All right. I like it. I like it a lot. We need a bell of happiness in certain other places in the world. Jeez, look at that bamboo. Can you see that bamboo? Jeez. I guess this is like a bamboo sanctuary. That bamboo is not going to be molested in any way. Look at these fan palms. Look at these fan palms, very beautiful. 
Look at the way they fan out. Very nice. And who's home? Who's, whose house is up there, do you think? One of the um, owner. Wow. A rest house. Rest house of the owner. Just really nice. We can climb up on the cross. Up sure. So we're going to continue this little walk, walk and talk, as they say, with my three Filipino friends. My uncle Harold, my uncle Harold, rest his soul, from Staten Island, went to Puerto Rico once. And he came back and he said he loved Puerto Rico. It was just a beautiful, beautiful place. He said the only problem was there's too many Puerto Ricans. But that was Uncle Harold, the banker. Yeah. Look at this. We'll go right through here and continue our little walk. So the pool was real nice. Oh, look. That's where we're headed. As everybody knows, the Philippines is a very religious, religious country. Uh, the belief in Jesus Christ. The Son of God, the Holy Spirit, the Trinity is very strong here. Yeah. Look at the natural. Just beautiful vistas, nice and green. It's a long way from Redondo Beach. Prayer walk, okay. Bell's Garden, this is the prayer walk. Very nice. Wow. Look at all these steps. Herbal plants. Yeah, this is like, uh, they did it all here. Now we came here today, it's Monday. So we had the whole park virtually to ourselves. Most of the whole time we were the only ones in the pool which is great. The weekends, of course, is, draws the weekend crowd, of course. But we were very fortunate to come here on a Monday. You can hear the rooster in the background. We have about three more days here in Alangapo before we head off to Manila for the last three days of this Southeast Asian adventure. Starting off in Thailand. Look at these beautiful palm trees. Coconut trees. Nice, huh? Wow. I like it. I like it a lot. So when we get up to the top, we'll pause and say a little prayer. And as always, I think the universal prayer is prayer for all the suffering in all the world for all the different reasons. Man-made suffering, uh, weather-related suffering, tornadoes, typhoons, hurricanes, torrential rain, heavy snow, freezing temperatures, earthquakes, those are the natural things that we pray for the suffering. And then we have the man-made things. Accidents, war, starvation. And then we have the personal things we pray for. Those of us who are physically challenged in any way, mentally challenged. physical hardships, 
and the people that are just less than financially poor people hungry people people who have lost loved ones who are in grief and we pray for all those who suffer under the many 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 diff definitions of suffering empathy I think they call it empathy we pray for our loved ones our friends and neighbors and we ask God or your higher power or whatever you call your higher power or your God or whatever you believe in to give all those people who are suffering the strength under all those difficult situations the strength to continue going forward moving on and staying strong and for the souls that have departed before us and that's it I guess that's the, your universal little prayer it works for me people some people don't pray or they don't think it matters but it's like people who say they don't like to read. Well, you love to read, you just haven't found the right book yet. Once you find the right book or the first book, you'll never stop reading again. So that's it. Wow, thank you so much for taking me up here. This is wonderful. Well, how beautiful is this? This guy really did a nice job between the pools and the the areas, the botanical garden here, the uh, prayer walk, uh, the picnic tables, and uh, the places for the toddlers and the uh, basketball courts, and and they're building a hotel now too. So this guy is really doing a great job. I guess I'm going to close it out here with this view from the prayer walk. Just a nice, how'd you like to have this in your backyard? Just beautiful. I hate to close it off. And I'll just take a little 180. There's even a little bench back here. You can sit and contemplate while you offer up some prayers. And uh, just uh, there's your fan, your fan palms. It's beautiful, very impressive. I like it. All right, I'm gonna have to close it. I'm gonna have to close it. And I'm gonna close it right here with a nice view. Oh my God, I'm on the wrong. How long was I on the wrong lens? I'm sorry. Just gonna close it here with a nice view. And again, uh, uh, come over here if you would. Just tell us again, real slow, where we are so people uh, come in front here. <laughs> tell us exactly slow where we are. Yeah, uh, we're here at Punta Bell Resort and Nature Farm here in Bataan, Philippines. Bataan? Yeah, Bataan, Philippines. The site of the big uh, Bataan March. Yeah, Bataan March, that's, that is. Uh, Bataan the, March. The Japanese uh, marched them. Yes, it's the death march. The death march. For, uh, for Philippine history. <laughs> so there it is. He said it better than I could. All right, enjoy your day. I don't know when this will load, but when it does, it does. 
And I want to wish everybody the best, wherever you are, in whatever situation you find yourself in.